Sometimes I like slim, sometimes I like dick Sometimes I come by and I like them slick Them slick probably went over your head Couldn't lay up, I just went, went over for head wow. Made her change the plans when she bent over the bed And now she on the balcony, pent over the ledge wow. It's been a few days, but I sent over some bread It can get rough with tuition Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel To my irrelevant ass channel, you know So today, um, I am doing a pamper routine thing so that's what we're doing um tonight i just decided to pamper myself because um i want to not feel like shit so yeah i mean i don't but yeah I do. we're gonna do like skincare hair care um other things that i like to do on a pamper night because sometimes life can get crazy life can get stressful and i just need a night where i can just relax and not think about bullshit so yeah, let's see. The first thing I'm gonna do is skincare. So I'm just gonna be showing you my whole like, skincare thing. I'm not gonna be doing like a whole skincare routine, but if you guys do wanna see a skincare routine, I mean, I can definitely do that for you. So yeah, so we're gonna go over to my room and we're gonna pick a face mask we're gonna do. And then, yeah. Also, let me further apologize um, for the low energy in this entire video. Um, it was just really late at night and I was trying to, you know, get some content out for you guys, you know, and I was, you know, dedicated. I really was, but I failed to realize that I was super duper tired, even though it was only like nine o'clock, you know, but yeah, I'm sorry about it. Um, I hope you'll bear with me through the whole video and yeah, again, sorry about it. <laughs> I think my pores need some help because I don't even know. Should I? Mm, actually, I think we'll go with. I think we'll go with her today. We'll we'll, we'll use her. Um, this helps with instantly removes impurities and tones for radiant skin. So this is what this does. So while I'm putting on the face mask, I guess I'll just talk about life or whatever. So how has life been going? Honestly. It's been improving. If you guys didn't know, in my last video, I mentioned this place called The Wreck. And I am actually am going to be doing a membership there. I haven't signed up yet, but I am as soon as I go back to school and figure out my schedule. Because, like, I don't want to sign up um, for The Wreck and then I don't know my schedule. Like, I know my school schedule, but, like, there's other stuff I want to do in between, like, going to the gym and stuff. So, like, once I figure that out, like, then I'm going to join. Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys a little story time or whatever. So when I went there, right, um, at first I was a bit skeptical because like, first of all, it was in North Philly. Now I'm not bashing anyone who's lived or lives in North Philly. You know, I'm not bashing anyone because I don't wanna hate, but like, you know, I don't usually go into rough areas of the city because like, you know, my aunt never really let me go out like that when I was like a teenager. Ew, I hate saying that. When I was a teenager back in my day, uh, like, I hate saying that, ew, that was, ew, I sound old. In my teenage years, my aunt would never let me go out like that, so that's why I never really got a chance to go to more rough areas, because she's like, you're not going to North Philly to go to the concert or whatever, this, that, the third. So, I was like, okay, whatever. So, literally, um, I'm not going to say how I, actually, yeah, I am. So, <laughs> um, the... The, f the reason why I even heard about the wreck in the first place is because of someone I used to talk to. We don't really talk anymore, so that's the tea on that. But, um, he told me about the wreck. I was like, what is, what, what is that, like a recreation center? Like, I don't, I don't understand. And he was like, well, it's basically a place where, like, creators and stuff can, like, come together and they can, like, work on their craft. I was like, oh, okay, that's more like a place for me because, you know, I've, been longing for a place where I can quietly do my videos and collaborate and network with other people because like I don't have that so that's kind of an issue for me so I go over there I go I book a visit um literally I heard it was on 10th and Dolphin I was like oh 10th and Dolphin <laughs> Get out. Get out. 
yeah, that was that. It's also in a warehouse too, so that just made things so much better, you know, because it was in a warehouse. I thought I was gonna get murdered. But then I met um Tim. Tim, if you're watching this, you're probably not, but hi. Yeah, so basically I go up to the warehouse and um he meets me and everything so then we go up like four flights of stairs um that was kind of a deal breaker for me and let me just tell y'all these are not like normal steps these are like some husky ass steps like husky ass steps like you have to like it's, it was like climbing a mountain like i'm not even joking i felt like i was climbing rivers oceans mountains lakes whatever to get to this uh, thing to get up there because like i just oh my god but, like, I mean, it was worth it, though. I mean, like, it was a great experience to, like, actually go there and meet other creators and stuff. But still, it was some husky ass steps. So, I cannot wait until they open that space in Center City because uh, that's going to be way easier for me. Because climbing up them husky ass steps, I, I'm like, oh, my God. And you already know that I'm unfit. But, like, four flights of stairs for me is kind of, um, hard. I was shocked at how nice it looked. It was, it was a really nice area um they had these really cool like meeting rooms and production rooms i was like oh, okay he talks to me about the wreck and their mission blah 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 and then he tells me to, to tell him um about what i do and i told him well i do youtube this that the third like one day i want to get into the film industry but i'm really focused on youtube right now like i want to like you know make really good videos i want to like um you know, make people laugh, this, that, third, yeah, whatever. I honestly think that I'm their first YouTuber because, like, I didn't hear about any other YouTuber being there. He shows me, like, the rec room, which is, like, where people, like, collaborate or they do their work, their editing there. They basically told me how they help creators um, elevate their careers, this, that, the third. I was, like, I was loving everything, and I was, like, I definitely want to join, this, that, the third. And then he said he would call me, like, two weeks or whatever, so I was, like, okay. So then he also invited me to, like, um these two other events one was a strategy session and the other was like a town hall i thought it was actually going to be a town hall but no it was all the way in west philly which is on the other side of the fucking city so i had to take a train and a trolley there um i went to the strategy session and literally it really did open my eyes to the kind of videos i want to make now i feel like i've been getting a lot better with the videos i've been making but i want to make more like entertaining videos and more like real videos with you guys because i feel like i don't really show my full personality i mean i have been lately with my recent videos um uh, with the you know but literally like i like doing those kind of edits and i like showing my real personality i think my mask is hardening i'm gonna wait a few more minutes for it to like you know harden and then we're gonna take it off and then yeah well i'm just gonna go ahead and try to peel this off Mm, come on, come on, you bitch. Okay, I think it's feeling. It's fine. It's only fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not gonna freak out. It's fine. It is fine. You know, we love that for me. This is bad for your skin. You should never do this, but I'm just gonna rub this off because, like, I just cannot do it. I, this is really bad for your skin. You should not do this, but like I just need this off of me because like I just cannot do it. And now it's time for hair. I love Shea Moisture. Um, I literally just found them this summer. I love Shea Moisture. I use the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Shampoo. Um, I love this shit. It feels so good on my scalp and on my head and it really rejuvenated my hair because you know I like to color my hair, process it, all, all this stuff. It has shea butter, peppermint, and apple cider vinegar. I love this stuff. Same thing with this, I also got the conditioner with it. I actually got two of their conditioners. Um, I got the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Conditioner. Um, this um, also has shea butter, peppermint, and apple cider vinegar and it also helps Again, with natural, chemically processed and heat styled hair, I love this stuff. I also use this, the Shea Moisture Daily Hydration Conditioner. As you can see, I'm like almost out. I need to buy more. I love this stuff. It really helps moisturize my hair. I don't use this daily, but like I use it like um, throughout the week, like maybe for, for four days out of the week. It's so good. Oh my God. When I put this in my hair, like, my hair just feels like a boost of hydration. Like, I love this stuff. Then I also bought 
the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Treatment Mask. This is a hair mask. I love this stuff. Usually you would put this after you shampoo, but I also use it when I don't shampoo because I don't really shampoo every day. I may sh I only shampoo like two, two or three days out of the week because like, you know, I don't want to, I don't want dry hair. Who's dry hair? We don't know her. Wait, did you get Wait, what am I doing? My camera doesn't have um, autofocus. This is exactly why I'm getting a new camera because my camera does not have autofocus, which is really annoying. I was literally about to put this on my face. I'm so stupid. Please help me. Oh, wait, I didn't. Fuck. So stupid. Oh my god. Okay. Just gonna put that all over my hair. I'm ratchet. I don't have like the hair things. So since I'm ghetto and ratchet, I use this to cover my head while I do my treatment. I also do this when I color my hair, like when I color my hair myself, cause I don't get it done professionally anymore. Cause that is expensive and I'm in college and I gotta save money. So we're gonna go ahead and just um, get this hair mask like 30 minutes and yeah. wash this off. The last thing we're going to do with my pamper routine is we're going to put this coconut oil and my curl products into my hair and then we're going to put my little bonnet on so I can look like, you know, a black mom and then we're going to call it a day. We're going to go in with my Cantu Argan Oil. Oh wow, I need to buy more. I'm almost out. Yeah, this stuff really does help moisturize my hair because it has Argan Oil in it and also Argan Oil promotes hair growth so that's another reason I use this stuff. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and add my, wait, Beauty Guru Natural Curl Whip from Cantu. I love Cantu products because they're cheap and they don't cost $5,000. So yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's literally like this foam and I just rub it. It has a very like foamy, watery texture, obviously since it's a foam. And I just put it in my hair. If you ever like meet me on the streets, my hair will usually smell like fucking like 10 pounds of coconut oil. That's usually what I put in my hair. This is my Cantu Shea Butter, um, obviously, um, moisturizing curl activator cream. Um, it's so good. This just helps like activate my curls, obviously since it's a curl activator, but it really does help with making my curls more defined. Sometimes I do use like this hair gel stuff, but Sometimes it does make my hair a bit crunchy, which I don't like, but if I really want some defined curls like th that day, I'll definitely use my gel. It's called the Cantu Moisturizing Styling Gel. And we're gonna go in with my Cantu Shea Butter Coconut Curling Cream. I love this stuff. Take like a whop of this, like a whop. So when I do this, when I do this, I try, I don't press down on my hair, I go very lightly. So that the curls can actually be curls and not like fucking flat pieces of hair. So I go very lightly on my head when I do this. Now it's time to look like a black mom. So um, that's the end of the video. The last clip that I was gonna use, I don't really like, and like I just I just don't want to include it in this video. But um, yeah, I hope you guys went got through the whole video. I'm sorry for like my low energy and stuff. I promise I'll have more energy in the next video. I promise you. Um, I believe my next video is going to be my move-in vlog. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I think it is. If not, I'll figure out something else to do. Because actually, no, it might be a hair dyeing video and then my move-in vlog because I move in literally on the 25th is when I move in. So, not that far away. See you guys in the next video. Bye!